a bourbon barrel, and a bucket of honey. You've got to watch this video. Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. Now, I am not in the apiary. I'm in the kitchen. Now, I've seen recently a couple people have been mentioning bourbon barrel honey. Well, what's a beekeeper to do? I have a bucket of honey. I have a five gallon bur bourbon barrel. Now I got this um, from a barrel distributor um, and it came from the distillery. I actually looked it up. Uh, it came from Hartfield and Company um, out of Kentucky. Uh, I opened it up. Um, oh my God. Now, what I'm gonna do here with this is, it's a very lengthy process. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this barrel with this bucket of honey and let it rest for nine months at minimum. And then that honey is going to take on the flavor that is on the inside of this barrel. Now, some I've seen have to seal their barrels. Um, this one, I looked at it and it seems pretty solid. We will see. Um, if I need to, if I see any where there's any seams that are leaking, I can go ahead and wax that. Um, but uh, I'm super curious. I mean, it's all I can do just to wait the nine months. I mean, that's it, going to be something. So let me go ahead and get this filled. And then we're gonna talk a little bit more on another subject. So let's get this filled. I love being here. I love seeing uh, the bees out flying. Um, now it's only like 56 degrees today. Um, today is election day. So hopefully everyone out there went out and did their civic duty and voted. What I'm gonna talk about though, for the bourbon barrel, I asked some questions, I put some pictures and people said three months is all that you have to let it sit. After three months, really, you're not really gaining that much more flavor. So initially I thought nine months, we only have to wait three. So from October 31st is when it was bottled, uh, ending of January. So November, December, January 31st is when I can do a tasting. So excellent, I cannot wait for that. Now. While I'm going through and refilling some feeders here, just because our temps are getting crazy in Ohio, 50s, we have a couple days next week, three days where it's gonna be 60. I'm gonna refill some buckets. Uh, let's get some buckets filled. And I got something I wanna talk about. No. Look at that. Look at that sight. Oh man. That right there is a beautiful fall day in the Castle Hives Apiary. Oh, the buckets are filled. So I found a um, couple of these colonies really need I mean, they like wiped out uh, the syrup. Um, the apamase, gone. A couple of the buckets, bone dry. The poly, bone dry. So, uh, kind of happy I came over and did this today. This, this weather, um, it's just, you know, in the fifties, the girls are not as tightly clustered. So it's very important for me that I get this syrup on them. That way they keep building up weight. Now, am I telling you what to do? No, 
No, this is just what I'm doing in my apiary. Um, I tell people that all the time, context is key. Now, that brings up another subject. YouTube beekeepers, we know everything. I mean everything. If you don't watch our videos, you won't know how to be a beekeeper. <laughs> that is a big time joke. Now, hopefully for the handful of people that will watch this, you'll know that I more or less, sometimes I'll say, hey, here's how I'm doing this, things like that. I'm doing that in my apiary. I, this being my seventh year, I still don't feel comfortable enough telling people, hey, you have to do it this way or your bees are not gonna live. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Now, that brings up a good point in that if everybody knows the Dunning-Kruger, you have that peak of Mount Stupid, and then you have the Valley of Despair and you crash. Now, I tell everybody, it's nice that there are people that share content. Now, there are some really great content creators out there. Um, everybody knows who I follow. You know, Greg Burns, uh, Bruce, Mike Berry, David Burns, um, you know, all of those guys. Uh, it's just, there's a lot of really knowledgeable beekeepers out there. University of Guelph, Paul Kelly, um, Fred Dunn, Cayman Reynolds, all of those guys, very, very knowledgeable. Beekeeping in the last few years has become very, very popular. The pandemic led to that, you know, people needed something to do. So there's this mad rush of content creator beekeepers. And there's beekeepers out there that they've been beekeeping two years, three years, and they're out there, do it this way or else. Do I agree with that approach? No. The reasoning is context is key. Where I'm located at in Northeast Ohio, if you drive two hours south from where Jason Chrisman, another knowledgeable guy, where Jason is at, Greg is at, the weather, landscaping, different. So even within your state, the regions vary. Uh, what is in bloom, that varies. So when I'm telling you, do this now, that's if you're right in my area. If you're down the street, yeah, maybe you could do that. If you're two hours away, well, you might want to think about it. So really what I'm telling you is do your own research. Um, there's a lot of valuable resources out there. Um, you know, do your research and don't just listen to somebody because they make a video. You can edit anything. When I was doing the buckets, did I get stung? Yes, I did. Did you see that? No. I edit out certain things and I could make this look like an entire bed of roses and every day is sweet, but I don't do that. I like to show everything to a point. That way people know that beekeeping, there are a lot of rough days. Now talking about rough days, this colony right here, it's closed up. This colony absconded. My very last time when I came over to fill buckets, nothing in this colony here. It absconded. So if I'm telling people do it this way or else, or do this or else and do that and or else, I can't even, you know, I can't keep all of my colonies. So, you know, that brings up the point to where, yes, I'm going through the University of Florida Master Beekeeper Program. I wanna learn. Do I talk to other individuals that are very, very knowledgeable individuals? Yes, because I want to learn. Um, and I encourage every one of you to do that. Don't just trust one resource out there. Um, you know, if, if there's someone out there, here we have beginner beekeeper classes. Um, if they say, oh, I've been a beekeeper for two or three years, and they're teaching, um, I would ask some details according to their operation, just so that you know what they have done. 
Um, you can present yourself in any way in a video, and I could have myself in a plane right now if I wanted to. That would be funny if I could do that. Um, but, you know, I could edit and I could say whatever I want to make myself look however I want in these videos. I don't do that. I stay real to my audience. Um, so really, YouTube beekeepers, there are some good ones out there, very knowledgeable ones, and I give kudos out to every one of those. But just be careful. If you're jumping on a fad, be careful. Um, you know, just, just do your own research and don't just trust somebody because they put a video out and it looks awesome, sounds good. You know, anybody can talk up anything. Uh, overall here, I think good. Um, I'm gonna take uh, some syrup out to the farm colonies, go fill those. Um, and then January 31st, too bad it's not in time for the Bee Expo because I would bring a couple jars of, of the bourbon honey down to the Bee Expo. But uh, look in February, I will have that bourbon honey on my website, thecastlehives.com. So um, cannot wait for that, but here we are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 here, two out there, so 15. Now what I plan on doing also, I'm gonna move this colony. Uh, when I clean this up, I'll have two stands here. I'm gonna bring the two colonies from the farm over here that way I can manage everything in one spot for the winter. It'll save me from having to drive back and forth. So um, everything in one spot, a little bit easier. So that's the update uh, on the apiary, on the bourbon honey, and my rant saying, you two beekeepers, we know everything. So you all take care.